AMC expands crypto payments but leaves off Dogecoin and Dogecoin's never-ending dogfight. It's been a full week of movement in the world of crypto. First, El Salvador adopted Bitcoin as legal tender, and then SEC charged BitConnect in a $2 billion fraud scheme. Now AMC Theaters has caused quite a stir in the crypto world by revealing that it intends to support more than just Bitcoin payments. AMC CEO Adam Aaron recently tweeted that the company plans to also accept Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash for movie tickets and concession transactions. However, one cryptocurrency was conspicuously left off the list, Dogecoin. The tweet from CEO Aaron read, Cryptocurrency enthusiasts you likely know at AMC Theaters has announced we'll accept Bitcoin for online ticket and concession payments by year-end 2021. I can confirm today that when we do so, we also expect that we similarly will accept Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. This decision to embrace crypto follows AMC's emergence as a meme stock darling earlier this year. By accepting Bitcoin and other digital currencies, AMC hopes that tech enthusiasts who invested in the company will now start going to movies there. It's also giving them additional payment options to encourage them. Dogecoin, however, is still not accepted by the chain, and that earned Aaron a bit of shellacking from the AMC apes who follow him. The Dogecoin community has had AMC on their radar since Aaron announced the Bitcoin integration last August. All this started at first with the famous YouTuber Steven Steele, who took this to Twitter upon his tweet, Steele said that AMC should soon start accepting Doge. In addition, he also added that AMC on incorporating Doge makes a lot of sense. However, what took this news too hot is the dog man Elon Musk himself liking Steven Steele's tweet. Thanks to that, all the Doge fans extended their support towards Steele's tweet, many even contradicting that once AMC accepts Doge, this will propel Doge to the moon. But much to their surprise, Dogecoin has been left off of that list. Some Dogecoin fans are calling it as a mistake, while others are holding out hope that it's just a matter of time. Well, whatever the case may be, the fact that it's not included in that list cannot be overlooked. Dogecoin is indeed a good form of payment. If not, it's even better than Bitcoin. Bitcoin has a block time of 10 minutes, whereas Dogecoin's block time is one minute. Theoretically, Dogecoin can handle 10 times more transactions in a given time during maximum network load. However, in a real world scenario, we found that sometimes Bitcoin can take several hours for transaction confirmation. And what's more, no cryptocurrency can beat Dogecoin in terms of popularity and celebrity endorsements. In fact, Dogecoin's market value increased by billions of dollars this year thanks to the strong push from billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk. However, in an attempt to cash in on the Dogecoin mania, numerous new cryptocurrencies based on the same famous Shiba Inu meme sprung up at the same time. And this has sparked a heated debate among the Shiba Inu coins. But why exactly? The Dogecoin Foundation, a nonprofit formed by the cryptocurrency's creators and supporters in 2014, has recently filed an official claim with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to make sure the brand name is not misused. Now, the problem is there are nearly half a dozen others who, too, are out to claim the name. A trademark identifies the source of goods or services and provides legal protection for a brand. Originally created as a joke on the cryptocurrency universe and inspired by the 2013 viral internet meme of a Shiba Inu dog, Dogecoin got massive support from Tesla and SpaceX CEO Musk and made impressive gains this year. However, a battle has erupted over it and several players want to own the popular Dogecoin trademark. Among them is Moon Rabbit Anglo Zaibatsu, a Cook's Island-based company which has filed a claim to obtain the Dogecoin trademark in the US and the European Union. Its founder, Angel Versetti, has created a new Dogecoin on his company's blockchain network and also established another company in the Cook Islands called the Dogecoin Foundation after the original Dogecoin Foundation remained inactive. But the original Dogecoin Foundation was recently revived and with some well-known board members and advisors, including Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. It's really going to be tough for Dogecoin clones. That couldn't be more evident than the foundation recently fired a warning shot at Dogecoin 2.0, the most recent pretender to the throne. Wait, Dogecoin 2.0? Yes, and as the foundation points out, it isn't an upgraded Doge, it's a separate project with its own white paper that's not yet listed on any top cryptocurrency exchanges. 
But the real Doge fight began when the Dogecoin Foundation asked the project developers to pick a different name. And apparently, Dogecoin 2.0 does not view it as a reasonable request. Light Creator, the project's creator, tweeted, After meeting with our legal team, we've determined that at Dogecoin FDN has no standing. We'll not be changing our name. We are now looking into offensive measures. And just a day later, Litecoin upped the ante, declaring total war on the Dogecoin Foundation, even labeling them a group of establishment hypocrites who seem to have no problem hurting our thousands of innocent investors. While it's not hard to see why the original Dogecoin would object to the project's name, Dogecoin 2.0 is trying to position itself as the underdog that is made by and for the people, just as Doge did. And Dogecoin is being portrayed as the rich aggressor. While Dogecoin 2.0 and other Dogecoin imitators bask in the controversy they've created, they're also testing the newly formed foundation's ability to handle the endless stream of stray doges wanting to cash in on the coin's success. Dogecoin has already succeeded against the odds, but its next challenge is perhaps the hardest yet. It's now part of the establishment. How can it stay true to its not-too-serious roots while also dealing with some very serious issues? Well, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you found our video informative, do like it and share it with your friends. Until next time, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for all new updates coming up.